Uh, anyway, let's do this. Let's get right into it because we got a lot to cover today, folks. Let's go ahead and hit our first clickbait. Okay. There it is, guys. Clickbait! Uh, very simple, folks. Mm-hmm. Uh, President Biden yeah, is back Uncle in Joe. the news because he decided to back down on uh, a plan yep. that put him in hot water in the first place. People were uh, up in arms uh, over Joe Biden's tax plan that was announced last October right. that said that they were going to basically uh, get the IRS to collect data uh, on every bank account that sees more than $600 in annual uh, yeah, transactions. That's everybody. Yeah. So we were pissed. Yeah. Uh, the homeboy JB was oh uh, yeah hell no he was ready, yeah that's everybody that's privacy when you have at, when you are giving yourself access to everybody's financial records by stating True. anybody over six hundred dollars that's a privacy thing it's not a tax thing it's not an IRS in my opinion yes. right so we all had a right to be mad and we were yeah, mad it, yeah it, it's, I send my kids more than six hundred bucks a month okay yeah. then for, exactly for, for rides and mm-hmm. lifts and so lunch. yeah. It was okay. a bad move, Uncle Biden. It was a bad move. So after widespread criticism on both sides of the aisle, and of course a lot of pressure from uh, the banks, mm-hmm. the administration has decided to back down. Oh. So instead, the administration and Senate Democrats are proposing to raise the threshold to accounts with more than ten thousand dollars in annual transactions and any income received yeah. through a paycheck from which federal taxes are automatically deducted will not be subject to the reporting. Also, anybody who's a recipient of a federal benefit like um, Social Security is going to be tax exempt, uh, not tax exempt, but is going to be exempt from reporting. So oh, okay. it doesn't matter how much money you you can make five hundred grand a year as long as it's federally taxed ahead of time. Mm-hmm. You're not a target. Okay, uh, okay. They want to target the people who are making money from ta- uh, investments, the people who are making fr- money from uh, retail sale, uh, not retail, but real estate sales, things mm-hmm. like that. The money that's a little bit harder. Yeah. So I think it's starting to target more specifically uh, the rich people, the people that are are, are trying to evade. That's tax. what the White House said, that the reason why we're doing this is to get the, the tax evaders, get the tax evaders. But ultimately, that's not what was going to happen. And, you know, truthfully, what I, I, you know, it sounds, it sounds about right. $10,000, that, that sounds like a right, nice round number. Yeah. My opinion is why not just that from the beginning? Why is 600? Again, 600 to me was trying to get into everybody's shit. Uh, the other second point I wanted to make about Uncle Biden is that he, again, is another Uncle thing Biden. where he's pushed into something, you know, pressured into something, something that you kind of <clears throat> promised, you know, you promised during your political campaigns, right? Uh, I think of student loans too. Student loans, he was pressured into uh, halting student loans again. You know what I mean? So uh, I just, I don't like it. I don't like Joe Biden right now, man. His <laughs> decisions usually, are pressured. I mean, let, let's, let's be fair here. They're all, 99% of them don't do nothing until they're pressured to do it. Again. Yeah, I guess that's true. It's, it's not it's not anything that's exclusive to Joe Biden. Oh. Um, but it doesn't make it any less bullshit. You sure. know what I mean? Hey, we got we got Instagram saying out there they're gonna track down the big boys in crypto. Yeah, you know what I mean. So there you go. That's Basically, what it is. sorry guys. So I just had to step in here for a second. Joe Biden is one of the worst people when it comes to the Senate stuff. Like he's literally the person who signed the bill and authored the bill to make sure that student loans could not be forgiven to the federal government. Or, yeah, look at that. So, so there like, you Joe go. Biden not a lot is of people known know that. for this kind of stuff. So Get he's never gonna here. forgive that kind of shit. And uh, yeah, I feel it's like just, again, that I feel crazy. like that was a promise. I feel like that was a promise in his well, it platform. was, it was. I can't remember the exact name of it, but one of the platforms that he ran on was to improve the economy, bring back some of the money that we have, like lower the deficit, right? Mm-hmm. Bring back some of the money, create some jobs. Every president says that, but he came up with like a multi tiered plan, and of course, it escapes me right now, but it was to help with student debt, it was to help, um, you know. Basically, get money back from people who owe it. Yeah, man. So we'll see what happens. We know that I am living proof of owing more money than than I borrowed. How is that even legal? How is that even possible? How that's a crime against that, sir, humanity, called, bro? That JB is called interest. Yeah, no, but but okay, but that's what is it? Compound interest? It might even be called. That should be illegal. Like how it, how sh- how, how the government why, can make oh, money off its own people. Thank you. I don't understand how how you can profit off your own people. I I read somewhere. How is that investing? I read somewhere Americans like eighty percent of Americans make under like forty thousand dollars. That's everybody, bro. You're hurting everybody, man. 
Don't let them tell you that this is this is this. nothing about anything but money, like the haves and half nots. JB's this got JB's cool. got a vein popping out of his neck. He's a smoke man, He gets fired about up about this. Yeah, I do interest all, and all, all that stuff is bullshit. It's all about money. Yes. yes, and don't let them fool you, folks. Not to get too uh, conspiracy theorists, but it is. You said it. It is about class. It is a class war that is really at heart here. Except that the people who are running it, the people that are profiting most from uh, us being distracted by bullshit federal politics, by uh, what do you call it? Races, racism, racial issues, social issues, things like that. Meanwhile, they're raking it up. Mm. As long as we're all fighting, blacks and whites are fighting each other. Uh, Fox about. News is trending. Yeah. 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 Look at uh. Look the the immigrants stealing your cookies. Yeah. Right. Look at that. Look so, at the numbers. The top ten richest people in the world raised their 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 their, their richness by fifty percent during the last two years 100%. during COVID. One hundred percent. Whatever. And 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 during the COVID. last few years has been the worst in a during while. The so, yeah. Exactly. That's my point. That's my point. And this. Suffered. Yeah, yeah, man, they're screwing us. They're screwing us. Yeah. You know, Point is we gotta work together, folks. Yeah. Classism, that's exactly what it is. Don't let Classism. them fool you. Absolutely. It's a class war. It's not about race, it's about class. Have right. versus have not. 100 percent Hey guys, it's Frank the Tank here. And if you like what you saw in today's episode, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. And for all new fresh content, go ahead and click right on over oh, there. Oh, hey. Watch out, big A's. And if you want to watch some of our that's more classic weird. episodes, Go ahead and click right on that way. <laughs> Every week Wednesday in the Cypher with the Potheads. Yep.